Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks again for all of your comments on one of our tug videos. We got a lot of feedback and questions about <laughs> how to build up and play the game of tug with your dog. So that last video we played with the dog that has been playing for a long time. Now we have a dog, another Doberman, uh, that has not been playing that long. So we're gonna need to build up the game. This is gonna be a series of videos, but today's video is gonna be focused on how do we start playing tug with a dog that has a prey drive suitable to playing tug. All right, so the, again, once we start doing this, we need to have a leash with our dog with some type of training collar. Notice she is wearing a remote collar. She is remote collar conditioned, right? But we're gonna need a leash and some form of training collar, like a fur saver that we use uh, to start, okay? And then we obviously need a tug, okay? There's a bunch of different uh, options for tugs out there, so find one that you like, that you think your dog will like, all right? And so first of all, we need to get her interested in the, uh, in, the, in the prey action of the tug. So all we're gonna be doing is I just dropped my leash so I can let that drag, but all we're gonna be doing is moving away from her, right? Because prey items move away from dogs. So we wanna move away from her and we wanna move kind of like uh, in, in, a, in a little bit of a side to side action. So I'm moving to this side, I'm backing up, I'm moving to this side, all right? So I'm backing up, I'm moving again to this side. So I want to keep it entertaining for her. I want to keep it ah, good, engaging for her. I want her to have a good time, right? Notice how she's kind of thrashing it. That's her natural behavior, which we like that, right? And so you can do a lot with this right here, all right? But this is how we want to get it started, and that's how it should immediately start. If you have a dog with a suitable prey drive, it may take him a little bit longer to start holding it like she's holding it because she's holding it pretty good right now, right? But that's what it would look like, okay? Then, okay, we're holding on to this leash. We can let her have it. We're gonna have to back up, okay? Notice how she walks that way. I'm gonna have to back up and then get her to bring the tug somewhere close to me so that I can grab it again so that I can start playing with her, okay? So I let go of the tug. I start backing up. I use the leash to get her close to me, okay? And then once she's close enough, I grab the tug. I start playing with her and the reason why I want to do that is because we don't want her to think that she's going to bring it back to us and we're just going to take it away from her, okay? We want her to have a good time. We want her to enjoy playing. So we back up because that's going to entice her to come to us. We grab the tug. We let her keep playing, all right? This is how she has a good time. This is the foundation right here, okay? Good girl, good girl, all right? So that's gonna be the, the first priorities of playing. Something else that you can do, let go of it, kind of walk with her like this, let her have the tug, let her keep it, right? So I'm just walking in a big circle. Whenever I'm ready to start playing again, I just back up. I want her to bring it to me, and then I just let her start playing, okay? If you have a handle on your tug like this, you can move it a little bit to entice her to want to thrash it herself, Therefore, you can do less physical work and have her do more physical work, okay? We just notice how loose the leash is in my other hand as I'm doing this. I can play with both hands while I'm holding on to the leash like this, okay? That's all we're gonna be doing, okay? Good. So those are the foundational pieces of playing tug. You're gonna wanna do that for lots of sessions, but how do we end our sessions, right? That's the question. The way we're going to start ending our sessions is uh, we're going to start introducing the out command. All right. So that could be a whole video by itself. Um, but I just want to cover this initially as our foundational work to tug. And the other one way you could end it is you just start walking until she drops it at a certain point if she does. OK, and then we'll just kind of not let her get back access to it. All right. Good. Just like that. And we just walk off and we go do something else, okay? So that's the foundational pieces of tug right there. The reason why we don't initially want to stop playing with an out command, okay, is we don't want to create an association to the out command where they think the game is always going to end. So in our next video, I'll talk about how do we implement an out command for a dog with a suitable prey drive.